What's up YouTube, what's up guys, so welcome back to the channel and today video. So today video gonna show you guys my top five most broken guns to use after update in Modern Warfare 3. Now if you guys didn't know, some guns got nerfed, some guns got buffed, some SMGs like assault rifle, like the LMGs as well probably, but I'm gonna show you guys some class looks and some guns to use in Modern Warfare 3, man. These guns you should use for real, for real, because these guns actually straight up good for it for it so i'm gonna put my camera on full screen for you guys but before i start this like this whole top five class of video for you guys drop a like and subscribe share the videos if you guys want to see more content on my channel of nw3 best class of trish test high kill gameplay anything like anything for real, for real on my channel smash that like button and subscribe and share the video now if you guys didn't know we in december so season i can say season one priority already live uh, like when this video live, I know season one gonna be live probably on this is on December the 6th So this video might go live maybe on I can say on the fifth or maybe the fourth, but just it, it, it would be live. That's what I'm gonna say though But first uh, follow my social media as well, you know follow my Instagram TikTok and I could say Twitter Updates on there and stuff like that clips and stuff like that and updates about what's going on on Twitter But yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna show you guys this first lot right here We got the NCW aka ACR and Modern Warfare 3 This actually the best gun in the game now This is my really my whole setup. I use right here guys very very good. I got ghost ninja scavenger ammo box, you know Simtex and I got a stand. Uh, I don't have a good pistol class, though, so if you guys didn't know, I'm, I'm actually grinding for instead camo. I already got LMGs done, like probably could say today. I step all night, guys. Like I step around like six o'clock in the morning, man. Get the LMGs done, <laughs> bro. Just crazy. My eyes was hurting and stuff. But my first pistol, I already got the first pistol done. But I'm, I'm working on the Renetti, and then I gotta work on this one and this other one right here as well. But I, I'm sorry, I didn't. I don't have a good, you know, class of for the handguns. But you know, I'm I'm on the grind, guys. So that's what I'm gonna say though. But anyway, I'm gonna show you show you guys this class up. Oh yeah. Also, I, I use this as well. This really helped a lot. You know. Um, it actually really helped a lot, you know, infected to stop and equipment running, you know, uh, you know, dead silence, wherever like they'll use light boost and stuff like that. But it really helped a lot for for so yeah, try to invest out. Uh, but the class setup for the MCW right here, guys, I use the muzzle, we got the sound suppressor, it actually really helped a lot. Uh, undetected by radar, bullet velocity, damage range, bullet lots of mean, bullet travel, damage range mean, increased range, and stuff like that. Really helped a lot. But the details on this was really, really good. But it kind of decreased up that horizontal recoil control and vertical, but. Look at the effective damage range and momentum damage range, but also just so good with the silencer with the barrel as well. This second line momentum, uh, heavy barrel from center, right? Really good, good. So if you don't, if you don't want to use this barrel, you can't use uh, like this one or maybe the first one. Everybody uses this first one because. It's just so good, like bullet velocity, aiming the sweat, and like you know, fire and invisibility. But I use this one because on the bullet velocity and range, and aiming of the slickness, and then aim walking st speed, I can say that, and very, very good with damage, range, accuracy, and mobility. But it, the, uh, the details I'm trying to say is the mobility is good, and then the range, and it does have green of the accuracy, if you guys can see it right there, but it kind of decreased of the hit fire and all this, like that. But it get the job done with mobility and, and range to try it out. But the underbarrel, we got the demo IMP 44 grid. It's actually good underbarrel on the pro. Got the image of the sway, hit for accuracy, and recoil control about accuracy and recoil. But it kind of decreased of the move speed, walking speed, and down high speed. But the details on this one is like, look at this underbarrel. It's very, very good with accuracy and recoil. But it kind of decreased of the mobility and move speed, crushing speed, etc., etc., like that. But it gets the job done with accuracy and recoil of the NCW. Uh, you know, it really helped out with that muzzle. And I can say barrel. So try it out. With the. Rip grip, we got the RB Croft PDS grip. Uh, rip grip is very, very, very good on the pro. Got the fire invisibility, gun key control, and recoil control. Really all about accuracy for you, though. I mean, not accuracy, but recoil. But it kind of increases the accuracy of the ill this way. But it's all about recoil. I'm, I don't know why I just said that, but it's very, very good. So try it with recoil. And then the Opti got the Marquee Dot 3 Reflex. Actually, a good Opti. Everybody used it. I see Skump use it. And he was like literally popping off with this Opti with the MCW. Uh, and you can use like different opt. You can use that one, the Chromium Pro one, the Slimline Pro one, or the Slight Reflex one. Like them four right there, actually the best opti in the game for AR, SMGs, LMGs, wherever you use though for real, it's very, very good. But the details on this opti I just use, I mean, if you can see green of the range and green of the accuracy, so it's good. It's really the same thing with all the optis, but like probably like with like, 
you know, scopes and stuff like that. But it's good though. But free for charge class for the guys of the NCW, aka ACR and Modern Warfare 3. This gun got a buff and this gun is still good though. But not after update, but like past updates. I could say after update, past updates like that. But it got a buff like that. Still a buff, it's still good though. But I'm gonna show you guys my second low out right now. So today I'm gonna show you guys my second low out. We got the Shranker, or I could say aka UMP. This gun got, I remember this gun got nerfed in the beta and it, it got nerfed like in the game, the full game. Then they buffed this gun. It's mind blowing. Yeah, it's mind blowing. They nerfed it and buffed it like, you know. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys this class to those. So on the most, we got the Sound Suppressor S. Silencer really help a lot with undetected by radar, velocity, and damage range. Now, if you guys don't know what undetected by radar mean, that mean like you know you undetect the you know it's like it's like this like it's like it's like some James Bond stuff like that. I could just say they're using this uh, silencer and then you getting kills. You know nobody don't know you there, but they might hear the little silence like the silencer noise like that. You know when you shooting it in the gun like that and stuff. Uh, but we got bullet velocity and damage. You know, range and stuff like that. But the details on this one, effective damage range, middle damage range, but velocity is good. But recoil control is kind of chalk of the horizon and vertical. But accuracy is good too. So yeah, try it out. Very, very good. Uh, barrel, we got the uh, Striker Elite Long Barrel. Actually, my opinion is actually, I could say, a good barrel. It's the best barrel. I understand this Striker uh, Recon Long Barrel is actually the best barrel. Everybody use it. I use it as well too. From the beta in the game as well but this barrel right here it's just something different about this barrel because on the pro got the illus sway got root control gun control and bullet velocity it really help out with that like you know the damage range and then like accuracy and recoil control you know but i understand i'll I be moving slow uh, you know uh sprint speed slow tech sprint slow and ads moving slow and so like that accuracy as well like you know like hit fire as well and then like you know sprint fire speed and handling it like that but i got recoil control i got range just straight up and crazy like look at all that increase just so good so try it out guys actually a good you know barrel i mean if you don't want to use this barrel you can't use the second barrel you know but it, it they both good though for real for real so try it out um under barrel we got the burn heavy support barrel it's actually a good under barrel on the pro got that gun kick control aim of the sway here's on control and fire invisibility river have a lot but i understand the decrease of the vertical and it ain't outside speed but it get the job done help out with accuracy and recoil but the details on this one got you know recoil control of the recoil gun kick and the arizona but and then we got green of the accuracy so it really help out with accuracy and recoil so try it out for real for real with the magazine, we got the sixth round drum. I would say fifth round drum, but we, we got the sixth round drum. This is very, very good. I understand. I think the what the striker nine have a fifth round drum, but in this gun, this has a sixth round drum, but it really help a lot, get a lot of kills. So if you guys watch my video of the striker, this sixth round drum really help a lot. If you guys don't want to use the sixth round drum or the 48 round drum, I don't really, I mean not drum, my bad magazine. I don't really have this unlocked, so I had to rank up guns to like unlock this on level 19 of the DM56. But if you don't want to use the like, like I said, the 60 round drum or the 48 round, I mean, yeah, 40 round magazine or 20 round. You can't just use the normal rounds of the 30 rounds, so I'm sure you guys anyway. So, yeah, but 30 round, I mean, 50 round, oh, 60 round, what I'm trying to say, is very, very good. So, try it out. And then the real grip, we got the second ZX grip. It's very, very good on the pro. We got the gun control, fire and stability, and recoil control. Uh, really help out with, you know, recoil. But the details on this one is very, very good. So, try it out, man. But free free try this class with the guys out of Striker. This gun got buff after update. Just mind-blowing. Gonna shoot some target for you guys. But leave a comment below. Do you guys still use this gun in Modern Warfare? It's really, it's really the best gun in the game, for real. Like, hands down. But try it out, man. And the crazy thing is, I heard people say the Striker 9 actually good too, but it got nerfed. So I don't know. I was like, hold on, how the hell did this gun get nerfed? Like it was, it was like everybody would say it was terrible. I remember everybody said it was terrible and it got nerfed. Like, yeah, it's mind blowing. Then everybody said it's good, but I gotta try the gun out, man. Just stay tuned, have notifications on. I would try the gun out, maybe. Uh, just stay tuned. That's what I'm saying though, man. But I'm gonna show you guys my third loadout right now. Today I'm gonna show you guys my third loadout, man. We got the DG58. Now, the crazy thing is, guys, before, I didn't use this gun. I did not use this gun. But I, I did make a video with this gun on my channel. But, like, never used this gun. Like, you know, everybody else used this gun. They say it was broken before. After update, this gun got nerfed. This gun got nerfed, man. Yes, it got nerfed. But it got nerfed, like, three times. Like, not three times, but, like, three, like, you know, nerf of the gun. But the FAMAS, that gun got crazy nerf for real for real but this gun 
I, this class look if you guys watch my video man i, I kind of made it called it unstoppable and this class look is actually good though for real, for real so um the muzzle we got the second train slash 40 muzzle this actually good muzzle on the pro got the vertical control got the hairs on now i understand the vertical me rise up because it's two of that so i could like use a different muzzle to make that hairs on a lower down so i mean i ain't really care about it so if you guys watch my video you should have saw it like already saw this video of this gun on my channel i mean it's good you know it's really not that bad i, I can handle recoil but on the details you got the recoil chart of that you know recoil gun kick hairs on and vertical just straight good though, but like I understand it kind of decreased of the ADS speed of plus 15.2%, but I can handle recoil, so try it out. With the barrel, we got the CDGT25 light barrel. Actually, might as well say to myself the best barrel. I understand is this barrel good too, but this one, it don't have like this one on the con moving speed and all this stuff like that for real. But on the pro, we got the bullet velocity, range, and the watch speed, uh, steadiness. Uh, aiming, walking speed, and moving speed is very, very good. Like, look at that range, infected damage range, minimum damage range, but velocity and then mobility. But it kind of decreased up that, like, everything on the accuracy and the handling, but it get the job done for real, for real. Or you don't want to use this, you can't use this one, you know, or uh, other ones like that for real, for real. Um, I think it's a, yeah, it's a new one. Yeah, it's a new one. Yeah, it's a new one like that for real. I, I didn't, did not get that on lot, so yeah. Made her try it out. Underbear, we got the X10. Next to the grid, it's actually a good underbarrel. On the pro, got the M of the Sway, Rick Control. It's all about, you know, I could say recoil and accuracy. But, uh, yeah, it's very, very good. But handling is chalk, though. But it's good for recoil, so try it out. Uh, I did say accuracy, but uh, accuracy is up there. So, if you guys can see, very, very good. Magazine, you got the 40 round magazine. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. The Formaz in this gun does always have, like, you know, this got a 30 rounds, and then I think the Formaz have a 25 rounds, I think. But this have a 30 rounds, but if you want to use the uh, larger mag, like a 40 rounds. I never used the 60 round drum, because that's a big drum, man. Like, bruh. But anyway, I used the 40 rounds very heavy a lot. I, even though it kind of slowed me down, moving speed, and high speed, reload quickness, and sprint fire speed. But it get the job done, get a lot of kills. If you guys ever watch my video with this gun, this gun is so good. But free for charge is close to the guys. Ashley is good. Gun and Modern Warfare 3. And this gun got nerfed after the update. And this gun is so good. I'm sure you guys my fourth floor out right now. I'm sure you guys my fourth floor out. We got the Dolby SP Swarm, man. This SMG be cooking players, man. For real, for real. Just like the SP, I can say WSP9. The Uzi, you know, I can say that. But this gun right here is just cooking, man. I'm telling you guys, it's so good. It kills faster. If you guys watch my video, man, I call this the fasty killing gun this class is actually good you guys gotta try it out but on the muzzle we got the x10 black cat muzzle actually a good silencer uh very very good though you know it really help out uh, undetected by radar firing invisibility uh recoil control and bullet velocity no damage range so i'm sure you guys the detail like infected damage range is chalk mobility is done like chalk as well uh momentum damage range i have to say that correctly but bullet velocity is very very good it got me like plus nine percent but i got recoil control as well if you guys watch my video this is really the same class setup but it really get the job done if you guys watch my video with this gun like that you know but it's good good though but it kind of creates up that ads moving speed of the mobility and the handling of the ads speed you know but it get the job done with recoil and i can say bullet velocity so try it out but the barrel we got the ws release reedless 90 long barrel actually might as well say the best barrel than all these other barrels for real for real um but this actually the best one but it, it, it does slow me down of ads you know hit fire all this like that and walking speed and sprint the fire speed but the pro we got bullet velocity and range we got uh you know aiming this way uh gun control and root control but the details on this like look at this damage like infected damage range and like I can say momentum damage range and bullet velocity on range is straight good and the recoil control as well recoil gun kick and horizontal and vertical and then even though the mobility and accuracy and handling is chalk but it get the job done and help out getting kills and stuff like that and with the damage as well I did say something about the damage so the damage is up there so try it out but the underbarrel we got the mark full grip now I understand I used the mark full grip I could have used a different underbarrel like that like this one like the heavy support one but I use the mark full grip because I ain't gonna lie to you guys man this gun does have a lot of kick to it so I use it I could have used a different one like you know like like I said this one because it got gun control and the horizontal control but I used the mark full grip on the pro got the image of sway 
I mean, uh, staying is my bad. Hit fire and tax spin sprint, and then rig control, really very good. But it kind of creates of the hit walking speed and ain't on sight speed. But it really help out with accuracy and recoil. But the details on this one, like recoil control, just crazy and accuracy, just crazy. The ability is chart and handling, but try it out. With the magazine, we are using a 50 round mag. It's actually a good, you know, mag. The crazy thing is, this gun have a hundred rounds now. If you guys didn't know, if you know, if you guys play Black Ops, you know, four, um, the operator mod, and the crazy thing is, if I use this stock right here, I would have a Kimbo's, and I've seen people make videos about this stock with Kimbo's 100 rounds. It had like a thousand rounds, like bro, just mind blowing for real, for real. But I used the 50 rounds, very, very good. So if you guys don't want to use the 50 rounds, you can use like the 40 round, 100 rounds, 25 rounds, or 20, or just the 30 rounds of this gun. Or yeah, 30 rounds, or it, it depends on you guys want to use. But I used the 50 rounds, very, very good. I understand slow me down, but it really helped out with reload quickness. So try it out. And then with the Opti got a slight reflex, actually good Opti. I mean, it don't matter what Opti you use though, but I use this one on uh like. I will make a video with this opti it's very very good though for real i i didn't really have the other optics unlocked so i used this one for a video but it does have a lot blue dot oh i guess like light blue dot crystal glass very very good but the details on this was accuracy and range green so it's good so feel free to try this class for the guys out of uh wsp swarm it's very very good but i'm gonna shoot some target for you guys it's actually a good gun like look at this and it does have a lot of key that's why i said when you're trying to go for them Long range engagement like that. And the crazy thing is they buffed this camo. Oh my god. Like look at that. Like look at that. Oh my god. They just buffed that man. Oh, I'm tripping, man. But I'm gonna show you guys the last final gun in Modern Warfare 3. I'm gonna show you guys the final. Well, you can see it though. So oh, I, I'm gonna oh, finally show you guys the class of the final gun. But we got the Bass B, man. This actually a AR, but it's not an AR. As an AR, but it's a battle rifle. If you guys know from Modern Warfare 2. The attack will be the freaking Core Squad, but this right here, this might as well, you might as well say this is the brother of the Core Squad right here, for real, for real. And it's just like the Core Squad, but it's just the magazine of different, you know, area like that and stuff. But this actually the best gun. The crazy thing is, this gun got buffed, like not after update, but like past up after update. I could just say that, but I'm gonna show you guys the patch notes on screen anyway, you know. But it still got a buff. But the muzzle, we got the second Trading 40. Uh, muzzle actually good muzzle on the pro we got the vertical recoil control got the heroes on a very very help a lot with the recoil gun key control and we got the heroes on a recoil control and vertical very very good but i understand kind of the crease of the ads speed of the handling but it gets the job done with recoil so try it out with the barrel we got the burn villain lone barrel actually my t my set is the best barrel i understand like this other barrel good like this one or maybe this other one but this one i see a lot of content creators use this barrel I use it, everybody use it. I could tell right now, if you guys didn't know, Warzone would be on season one and everybody gonna be calling this gun mid. I could tell right now. But I use this barrel because on the pro got the bullet velocity, range, recoil control, aim of the sweat, and gun control. Very, very good of the range, accurate. Oh, my bad. Yeah, accuracy. I was right. I was, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Uh, range, accuracy, and recoil control. But it kind of decreased, like I said, on the comm, mobility, and handling. But the details on this one is very, very good. I mean, you know, with the range, and then I could say it recoil. But it kind of chopped up the mobility and handling. But get the job done to try it out. With the underbarrel, we got the demo field grid. It's actually a good underbarrel on the pro. Got the aim of the sway. It, aim it ill sway, my bad. Uh, hit fire accuracy and recoil, but it kind of creates uh, aim outside speed. I can say aim slow and then movement speed, but it really help out with accuracy and recoil. That's really like the mobility and handling. But the details on this one, like accuracy is very, very good because like I can hit fire players, but it got negative 15%. And then, um, you know, we got recoil control up there, recoil, gun kick, uh, kick, and then Arizona and Vericle right there. And yeah, it's very, very good to so try it out. Magazine, I use the 30 round magazine now. If you guys want to use the 40 rounds or the 30 rounds, if, if, if you guys want to use, or you guys can use the, like the normal rounds or 20 rounds, but 30 rounds is actually the best one because I hear a lot of people say the 45 round mag, and I, I tried it out too. It is slow. It's real slow as that one thing. But if you guys like using a 40 round mag, you can use it. But I understand like people who play Warzone are going to be using this because like they like to get a lot of kills. But 30 round mag is very, very, is a vibe, man. For real. I understand it, it kind of made me slow down, crouch slow, sprint slow, tax slow. ADS slow, blah blah blah, but it get the, it get the job done. Hit a lot, get a lot of kills to try it out. Oh wait, I forgot to click on it. And then the opti, we got the current mid pro. I love using this. I mean, 
I had, I mean, I know you understand guys probably say you should go to use a slight reflex on this, but I didn't really have the slight reflex unlocked. And I could say the Mark, uh, the uh, Mark K, or I could say the MK, my bad. I said Mark K, MK.3 reflex unlocked. So I had to use this. It is very, very good though. I mean, if you guys know from NW2, the Cremant Pro went and the Slim Pro went, it's literally the best opti, but it's other opties in this game. You can use like the slight reflex and the, the MK.3 reflex. They good too as well. But free free try this class so they got this is actually my final class setup in Modern Warfare 3 of the Bass B. This gun got buff, like you know, pass updates like that and stuff, but it's still good. It's still good in Modern Warfare, man. It's still good. And hold on, I'm gonna try out that long range. It's still good, man. But yeah, as this gun as a even though it's a battle rifle, but as an AR. It cooks though, man. But free, free try all these guns, guys. And the crazy thing is, I I know uh, I probably did already show you guys my like my everything else like this. So I use my uh, tag. I use stem, syntax, ammo box, scavenger, ghost. I mean, my bad, not ghost, ninja, and ghost. This is really my whole best setup right here. And then this is the vest I use. It really helped a lot, man. You know, lightweight boost and stuff like that. Uh, runs and stuff like that for real, for real. You can't use different other vests if you feel like it, but you gotta think about it. Let's say you use this vest, you can't use no grenades. You got stem shots or whatever you use. And then this one right here, you cannot use like uh, boots, like when, uh, you know, any boots like that, like, like you know, ninja and stuff like that. And then this one right here, you could use like uh, everything. You could use everything. I might use this because like, I don't know, I, I might think about it because like, I gotta think about it. Uh, this right here, you can't use like your grenades or stem like that. So yeah, that's crazy though. And then this right here, you can use two weapons, but you cannot use the full upgrade. So yeah, that's that's mind blowing. Like say mind blowing though. But do you guys really miss the the uh you know the full upgrade like two full upgrades like you could use your dead silence and use like trophy sensor with ammo box like that if you guys missed that drop a like man and or comment below for real for real but anyway like i said gotta try out these top five uh you know most broken guns in modern warfare 3 after update these guns is so good still good though i will have more videos updates about like these other guns in season one just stay tuned and i will be trying out the dlc weapon as well but drop a like if you're new see you guys next time Turkey like the sauce, bitch.